And then you are going to place the last orange bead onto your string. And then through the top orange bead. Okay, so there's the top of it. You are completely done. The top end of it. And you should have one green bead and 14 black beads still. So take the, the string we haven't been using, the one that's down more, and put it through the first bottom orange bead with no beads on it. No beads on your string, sorry, it should be more clear. And then you're going to put a black bead onto your string. And put it through the orange one, the next orange one. And then put another black bead onto your string and then put it through this next yellow one. And then you take your last green bead, string it onto your string, and then you put it through that next, e the next green. Hopefully I said green bead. And then black for the rest of it. So black bead onto your string. Through the blue bead, the bottom blue bead. Another black bead through the bottom purple okay so now without any beads on your string you're going to put it through the last black bead we just went put on and then take a black bead Put it through the next black bead. Another black bead. Through the green one. Another black bead. Through the the other black through the next black one. And then another black bead onto the this black bead. So you should have six black beads left and you should have something that looks like this. So without adding any beads you're gonna go through this bottom black one. And then you're going to add another black bead and put it through this black bead. And then another black bead. through this black bead and then another black bead through this black bead here kind of like a payout stitch I think they call them yeah simple payout stitch I hope that's right <laughs> 
Okay, and then you go down to this black bead that we just strung on without adding any beads. And then you have, or should have, three beads left. Okay, so put one of those beads onto your string. Put it through the middle black one. Take another bead, put it onto your string, and then put it through this bead, the bottom black bead. So, it should look like that. And then you should have one more black bead for, for that spot. So, Take your string, put it through the last black bead we strung on with no beads on it at all. And then you put on the black bead onto your string and then you put it onto this bead or into this bead, sorry. And then there is your heart. So you're going to put it, okay, so as you can tell we have one string coming out here and one string coming out here, but we need them both in the same spot. So you're going to string this bead way up here through this next orange bead at the side here. That's it. Okay, and then you put it through the bottom orange bead. And then you put it through this next black bead, and you just keep putting it through the black beads, that black bead, that black bead, that black bead, that black bead, till you get to the bottom. So, put it so they're both coming out of the same bead. Okay, so, mine are coming out of the same bead now, but the bottom is kind of screwed up. So, in order to fix that bottom, I'm going to put it through the next couple of beads, just so it's not so on tight down here. So, I'm going to put it through this one and this one to get it up to about close to the purple. Just tie it and then cut off your extra string. So there is your final results. Um, um, I tried to make it as easy as possible. I tried to make it so that I explained it well. So I hope I explained it well. Um, yeah. Anyways, so that was how to make a melting rainbow, melting bleeding rainbow candy heart. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. If you like this tutorial, thumbs up. If you want to see any more tutorials coming up from me, subscribe. And yeah, have an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you are.